Carey here, host of the uh, Best of Us Investors YouTube channel. Um, also have Best of Us Investors website where you can go and you can register. You can become a member of our tribe. Our tribe is a collection of people with uh, like minds who are interested in making good investment decisions, keeping more of what they make, and building family wealth so they can make a difference while they're on this earth. I'm at a juncture in my life, and um, I drive a BMW that uh, is coming out of warranty middle of next month. And I'm trying to make a decision that do I want to buy a new car now? Do I want to buy it in the middle of next year? When do I want to buy it? Uh, the next car I own will be an electric vehicle. Uh, I, I've driven um, gasoline go-karts for years. I've driven recently, um, for about the last two years, electric go-karts, and they are a kick in the butt. I mean, it is a totally different driving experience. And I think it is time to move away from the internal combustion engine. I think the world is going that way. And I invest in companies that change the way I live. And uh, once they get a, a mileage range that will take me uh, 550 miles, uh, I'm good. And I think Tesla's getting there. And so I've been doing a lot of research on it. And what I wanted to share with you is the research I recently found that tells me that Tesla is going to have a totally autonomous automobile possibly by the end of this year, uh, and that is 2020. Um, I believe that from what I read two weeks ago, they introduced what ended up being kind of a scrapping of their computer driving uh, software, and they put out two weeks ago a test to their most cautious drivers, and then did a beta program as to where are we at. What I came to understand is most of the automobile companies are in the automobile business. Uh, they are in the business of selling cars. Tesla is in the software business. They tested their software. They revamped it. They didn't get rid of their artificial intelligence, their machine learning, and it now looks like we are going to have a totally autonomous automobile by the end of the year. They put this out to their fleet of automobiles, and they came back and say, said basically they've got highway driving mastered. They also put some of these cars on gravel roads, and if you understand the principle of sensors that pick up the sensors on the side of the road, the center of the road, and then feed back that sensor information to the computer on the in the car, and it makes decisions. Well, you can imagine on a gravel road, there is no clear center, certainly, and there isn't a for sure side. But nonetheless, they have found that they are able to function autonomously on those. They're also able to function when it's raining. This was an issue in the past. The raindrops, the, particularly when it's hard raining, interfering with the sensor capability. It appears they have mastered that. They have been able to drive in crowded parking lots. Again, autonomously. Parking, maneuvering through crowded parking lots. So my point is... They are building this computer system that is taking them to the level they need to be to be an autonomous automobile. So they're not just worried about gas mileage and the looks of the car. They're, look, they're worried about the functioning of the car. And if you saw my video earlier this week where I made a visit to my BMW dealer because I am a total loyalist to VM, BMW. The last three cars I have owned have been magnificent. And, um, and if it wasn't an internal combustion engine, there would be, and it, they were up to speed, uh, I would probably be buying a BMW. But now that I've dug, in, dug deeper 
and recognized Tesla is not a normal automobile company. They are a technology company that is going to provide me a vehicle that is going to be astronomically safer than anybody else because they are building automobiles with batteries in them. Tesla is building an automobile with a computer in it that is functioning through artificial intelligence, which I understand, which is functioning with machine learning, which means that as that car gathers data in the second, it analyzes that data and makes a decision so that that car, that computer, that vehicle is smarter than it was a second ago. And it's making its own decisions at a rate that certainly a human cannot keep up with. Then they take that data from my car, compare it to everyone else's car in the cloud, analyze it further, and come back and give me a smarter car. And that's what I want. I believe that Tesla is building what is going to be the safest vehicle moving up and down the highways. Now, we know that there are other people doing similar things, in particular Google with their uh, Waymo One, Waymo One vehicle, but it is geo-mapped. What does that mean? Well, they went into, I believe it was um, Phoenix, Arizona, and they geo-mapped a 50 square mile part of uh, of uh, Phoenix, and they taught that car every stop sign, every yield sign, every stoplight, every right turn, every left turn, and within the computer of that car, and I suppose act giving access to other computers and other cars, they mapped that city. So now that car can maneuver through that city without a driver, a total, totally without a driver. The problem is until they get the whole world geo-mapped, it don't work. It, well, I take that back. It works where it's geo-mapped, giving some limitations. My, my take on that is this will be the taxi service. This will be probably once they geo-map Birmingham, if I want to go or my wife wants to go to the public store, that car would be able to pick her up, take her, and bring her home totally safe, and she would not need another car. It, and it will probably be driven or owned by Uber or someone similar to Uber or Lyft. And so I see that as a different genre within the transportation business. Is it going to be viable? I believe it is. I believe it, it will be part of the transportation world that you and I will deal with in the future. What I like about Tesla, though, is the leverage that they're creating. And what do I mean by that? They are leveraging or investing in every existing user. They are planting artificial intelligence within this fleet of automobiles and fleet of users along with machine learning, and they will have a growing autonomous knowledge that will be second to none. I, as I talked to the the salesman at the BMW dealership, who also was the local BMW guru, that's what it said over his desk, so he knows more about what's happening in the vehicles than anyone else. He never mentioned anything about machine learning, about artificial intelligence, cloud computing, or anything of that basis. So now we have a 500,000 cars out there that are driving millions of miles that are learning and then are teaching themselves through machine learning to be all the smarter. I just am so convinced 
that they are, Tesla that is, are in a class by themselves and will revolutionize the transportation industry unlike you and I can imagine. So I said to myself, okay, give me a comparison, Kerry. What could I say that what Tesla is doing compares to the Wright brothers in aviation? They pioneered it, but unlike the Wright brothers, Tesla is going to take it from there. So where else? Google search. Google search has mastered that element of the computing world, and no one can keep up with them. And as a result, the CEO of Google is being brought forward and saying, you have a competitive advantage. Guess what? Win software or Microsoft Windows. Microsoft Windows was, was revolutionary uh, back in 1998. People lined up for blocks wanting to get the new Microsoft Windows product. Uh, Facebook. Facebook has dominated the social media world. That's what I think um, uh, um, Tesla is going to do. And no one has become forward to be able to challenge Facebook in the niche that they hold. Amazon, as far as e-commerce. I see Tesla comparable to how as much as Amazon owns e-commerce. And sure, there are competitors. There are people who try to get a little niche here or a little niche there. Tesla will comparably dominate the electric vehicle, the energy, battery energy business, and the knowledge, the data that is going to be collected within the energy industry, or excuse me, the transportation industry, is going to be owned by Tesla, much as the search information is owned by Google, the social media information is owned by Facebook, and the e-commerce information is owned by Amazon. So I guess long and short of that is this company is a must own. It is a must own and it will take you to places you can't imagine. Now, what is my next step? I believe I only have one place to go and that is I have to make an appointment. In fact, I have called, they haven't called me back and I am going to make an appointment to go to Atlanta and test drive a Tesla. And I'm hoping that I will be able to get into the car with my camera, and you and I will test drive a Tesla together, and then you and I will make a decision, is this the time I want to buy it? Is it where I want it to be? And if it isn't, do they have the capability to upgrade the vehicle that I am going to potentially own? And then I have to overcome the hurdle that the service department is 180 miles away. How do I overcome that? That is one of the questions I'm going to be asking the Tesla dealership. So come along with me. Uh, I think, again, this is a Google, this is a Microsoft, this is a Facebook, this is an Amazon. It is a must own because they are going to grow exponentially. The other players are just going to be also RANs. I'm sorry, but BMW, get comfortable with someone calling you Yahoo or Cadillac get comfortable with AOL because you're so friggin' far behind, as far as I can see, that the world's going to pass you. So that's my take on Tesla. If you like this kind of video, give me a thumbs up. Uh, I like likes. Uh, subscribe. And then join Join because that's where 
I'm finding my support, that support, that join supports my charitable foundation to find a cure for cancer. And if you'll join, you'll learn why that's important to me. Um, and I'm to the people who join every Sunday. Right now it's scheduled for three o'clock. I will, Central Standard Time, I will do a live stream for my members to give them firsthand information of what I see happening in the market and how I'm going to react to it. And I think that is extremely important in light of the election that we're going through. I'm filming this on Wednesday. We do not know who our next president is going to be. Quite honestly, I don't give a damn. Uh, I will adjust. I will, uh, they're, they're merely the referees, they make the rules, and they throw the flags, I will adjust, because I am the coach of my portfolio, my stock portfolio, my real estate portfolio, and I don't care what they do. I'm in the game to win, I'm smarter than most, and I will win, and if you want to come along with me, and share my knowledge, and share my experience, and grow. I haven't grown at less than 25% in the near, in the rememberable future. I expect to grow in 2021 at about a 33%, and the more I get into it, the more I think that's a bit conservative. So, that's Best of Us Investors. This is a good game to be in.